So how do you how does Malumi just straight out you go you from you from Mlazi, Vega, now all of a sudden your career starts internationally. How does how do those steps go? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you went leap, no. leap you know? Uh Malumi from Mlazi. I uh, moved from Mlazi to Eponelo, which is in Chesterville. Okay. In uh, ninety six. Uh, then I moved to Joba when I was twenty three in two thousand six. Then yeah. This is after Vega. Moving to Joburg is after Vega. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to, we had a dream, like a design dream. Yeah, like yeah. we're going to start a studio, we weren't going to work for, it's like, because when you go to those colleges, they like, they open you up. Yeah. But at the end of the year, they're like, you have to get a job. So they call you at these advertising agencies. Uh, uh, and I remember me and my friends didn't want to do that. Like mm. we were pro probably the only guys that were like, ah, no, since we're in Pupad, we're not gonna, we're not gonna play there. We can play the same game as those guys, but in different ways, you know. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted to start a studio, design studio, and I remember um, our first client was Amagip Keep. We actually mm. designed the Amagip Keep logo. Oh yeah. Yeah, me Sa Usanele from Amapo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's real. <laughs> and Dr. Who Spicy? even knows yeah. that? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, man. So <laughs> damn. Yeah. Damn, if you made it, if you made a random <laughs> baby shit, that was bought though. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, okay, that's deep. Um, then, and then, yeah, man, that, that dream kind of fell off because we in Joburg and we got boggled, like, sometimes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no insurance, small company. And then, so, but while we're doing the design stuff, I met Sanele's older brother, because I met Sanele at Vega. Mm. I met Sanel's older brother, Uzaman, DJ Spicy. Mm -hmm. Then he put me on to Mad Lib, MF Doom, Jay Dilla, um, DJ Shadow. Mm. Yeah, a lot of hip hop stuff, Cosimoto. Yeah. You know? And I remember, like, Jay Dilla is my favorite rapper. Not yeah. producing and more than yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. rapping. Yeah. That's my favorite, like, yeah. MC. Um, MF Doom also, you know? So, like, from that time, I'm coming from a house background. I grew up dancing. Yeah. So I put him on to, uh, onto the chrome stuff and all the Fresh House flavors, all the, everything, like, all my heritage, I had it on CD, you know? Because uh, yeah. like, we've got computers now. So, so we're sharing music. Mm. And I think the more we talk about music, the three of us, we, start, we, we ended up starting a group. Yeah. A rap group called uh, Zulu Oma Stereo. Yeah. Um, I think we had two shows at the back of Mumma's house in <laughs> Melville. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then after that, after that, I don't know. I don't know what happened, like disbanded. And then I started, I was living in Melville, so a lot of cats used to come hang out at my house. Rick, everybody, Ricky, Scoop, everyone was hanging out at my house. So uh, we were rapping then. And then I think that's how it happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's real. Yeah, man. that's crazy. So I mean, it's 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 really been like one one journey that's like a bit a uh, a bit uncertain, you know. Um, one minute like the same week that like Scoop says there's no poison bags. The same week you take a picture with with Ricky and you yeah. hashtag poison bags forever. I mean, I what didn't is, even see that tweet, eh? Well, you know, yeah, you know, he tweeted that, you know, he's been saying that, like, um, see, I think some, something in the light of, you know, me, we, with my brothers, we cool, but, like, you know, the, we, we've been lying to y'all, there's no poison bags, so some, something of that nature, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, um, I can't say anything about that, but, but, but yeah, if you want to ask about poison bags. Who's the boss at poison bags? There is no boss at poison bags. Where are the headquarters? There, there are no headquarters of poison bags. So when something goes wrong and I want to speak to a boys and bags person, who do I call? You can email boys and bags at Gmail. Oh my God, did I just put it out there? <laughs> 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 our, email, our inbox is going to get flooded. <laughs> but yeah, man, like, boys, like, if I had to break down the boys and bags story, people will understand, I think. Boys and bags is a, a group of friends. Ne? Mm -hmm. 
just like how everybody has friends, yeah. like wherever you are, like yeah, a crew, yeah, a crew, yeah. a squad, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we used to make music together. We started out together, most of the things, like we met up in Joburg. Some of us are from Durban, some of us are from Pitori, you know, we're from everywhere in the country. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we met up in a big city with Braz, we're making music, um, we're all about cakes, we're all about the streetwear lifestyle. You know, we've got different things that we're doing to express this, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then I think at some point, I don't know, don't get me, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I, I think at some point, Boys and Bucks is like, made to be a Wu-Tang or like a, a boy band or yeah, something like yeah, that. So yeah, it's like, yeah. yo, yeah. boys to men, my boys to men, man, it's my boy and a baby boys to yeah, men, yeah, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. and I don't think, I don't think we started out like that. We were yeah. just friends, we hang out together. And, you know, maybe I'll be more friends with this guy for now. And then the next six months, I'm more friends with that guy. It's like yeah. that, you know? Yeah. So, I don't think, I think it's forever, for real. So, we brothers. so let's let's keep it 100, though. I feel like Boys and Bucks is a headspace. It's a mind state, exactly. you know? Because, let's go, Scoop making money off presenting. He just got hired by Touch, so he's making yeah. an extra check. Yeah. Um, Ricky, literally, like, is making money off yeah. music. Yeah. He just got signed by Mabala, so he's yeah. making fat mil. Exactly. You know? <laughs> um, 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 you got um, Stilo, who's out there with the yeah. Vans deals, yeah. doing the shows, sure. the Tropicana tour. Sure. So he's out there getting those checks, you know? Sure. You got, you've got, um, you got K-Fresh, who's out there yeah. with them shoes, exactly. um, hunting doing just kicks. hunting for yeah. kicks. So he getting them checks yep. you've got um Puvesi who's out there parking yeah yeah Punk I, I, yeah you know with, with working with like one of the biggest companies it out there and you got you who's got like the music doing the international thing yeah. so the boys are in bucks it's a headspace yeah i guess and i think also as an idea like we wanted to it's kind of like spova gang now mm. um like if you're about the streetwear lifestyle, you part of Spoiler Gang. Yeah, I think Boys yeah. and Bucks is the same, bro. Yeah, it's a headspace. It's not yeah, a music exactly. group. It's a yeah. headspace. It's Which, uh, but why aren't you chilling with that guy? Because I'm a Chitaya Spana yeah, in their own exactly. right doing yeah. it. And the fact that you can call any one of them. Yeah, exactly. There's a exactly. unity there. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, okay. All right, my G, um, I'm looking forward to hearing the album, you know. We, yeah. I think I think the whole country <laughs> is looking forward to, to hear the album. Um, I think as a solo artist, you are, you, you, I think, my predictions. When are you dropping the album? Do you have a date? I don't know yet. I'm full of Bob. Okay, sure. <laughs> I think, I think that like, um, you are the next star. Ah, uh, yeah, boy. I think, that, yeah. look, I th as a solo artist, I yeah. think you are the next star. Yeah, boy, bro. And, um, my Google album, everybody, everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. Everybody sees what you do from a trending aspect, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just the song once it's right. Yeah. I think you're the next star. Ah, uh, yeah, boy. You know, I mean, y'all don't feel so. Y'all just just <laughs> holla at the comments, but like you know, my room has been out there, and um, and what people sleep don't sleep on a lot is that you've been pioneering the global market. You and Dumi yeah. have been pioneering the global market. Uh, so. Before me, Spook Matambo, I was yeah. like, Spook Matambo. And also, that's the story I forgot to share. Spook Matambo is the guy that really, really made me believe, like, yo, you could do it. Yeah. And my rap name at the time was Shambok. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had Okay Man Cool Cat on a verse. So he's like, yeah, yeah Okay Man Cool Cat. So it really put me on. And the first recording we did was with him. So, yeah. And also the global, the whole global thing, he's been the guy, man. Mm -hmm. Spook Matambo, shut mm -hmm. up. Nice. Yo, we out here with Maloom oh, wow. doing the damn thing. And we're looking forward to the album. He's got Dream Team in the background. Dream Team! <laughs> 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 they have this song up there on the waves. But yo, we're going to see if Maloom can give you something nyana, just to maintain you. Let's see. What can I, gi what can I give them, though? La Liga, boy. Ah, Milan. <laughs> Milan. <laughs> Milan, yeah. Yeah. Milan, yeah, so much. But I can give you, I'll give you half the song. Yeah, cool. Is that cool? Yeah. What's up, Leslie? Yeah, I'm back in the game, but it's second half. Second half. Leslie Milano. Hey, hey. We're fucking through passing and begging it. Hey, boy. 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 Hey, boy
Like the baby, 